long stretched and centred and we're in week four of doing this now, I think, or week three, probably which. So, let's take our feet out nice and wide. Toes just slightly pointing outwards a little bit. So we're literally going to come down and then we're going to tuck our tailbone under and then lift up, yeah? So that's all we're going to do to start with. We inhale, tuck our tailbone up and exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale. Tuck our tailbone and exhale. We don't rush this, it's all about allowing gravity, it's all about allowing ourselves to really focus on what we're doing. One more. Well done. Now we're going to take our feet out a little bit wider. Now we're going to shift the weight and you can feel that stretch, yeah? And shift the weight. So at this point we're literally just resting our elbow on our thigh. As you can feel, each time we're stretching. Now if you notice, my feet now are facing forwards. Try not to lift the heel up, we're not doing that. We're trying to stretch all along the side and the inner side as well. Now we're gonna straighten our legs and place our hands on the floor. You should be able to get somewhere near the floor at this point. If you really can't, place your hands on your ankles. So just hold this position and stick your tailbone up. Then we're gonna go heel toe in a little bit. Same thing, see if you can go a bit lower. Or if you have to put your hands on your ankles, that's fine too, and just hold. We're gonna come heel toe in again, same thing. Bring it down. And again, heel toe. So we're slowly increasing the stretch through the hamstring. You can feel it through the seat bones as well. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Heel toe again. Heel toe again. So you should be more or less feet hip width apart now. If it's now becoming uncomfortable, remember you can always at any point come up and place your hands on your ankles. Now pull your belly button in and see if you can go a little bit lower and you can really feel the back of the legs. Now we're going to bend our knees, we're going to take our hands around the back and just try and bring our body so it's resting on our thighs. Place your hands on your thighs, tuck your tailbone under, slowly come up. As soon as we come up, we shake out so we don't get dizzy. Otherwise you'll be like, oh, head rush, head rush. Feet here, so now what we're gonna do is just lift the heel and rotate. So we're just warming up through the torso a little bit. It all helps warm the areas so that we can get a deeper workout with the inner thighs and the hamstrings. So now we're in this position here, we're going to go a little bit like we started and we're going to just turn the one foot. We're going to push the hip out and we're going to slide our hand down. Then we're going to bring an arm up. It's called a triangle pose in yoga but it's also a strength pose. It becomes a strength pose when you take your hand away. So we're just going to hold this pose, breathing nice and slowly, breathing in. And out. Remember, any time you can just hold it here if that's like all you can do. Breathing nice and slowly. So here is working, yeah? Inner thighs, hammies. Then we come up and we turn the foot to face forwards. We now shift the weight because we're still working on this leg and we come as low as we can. Now once you're here, holding the position, it becomes a strength position when you bring your hands behind your back and you just come forwards and then you're stretching it but you're also having control of the stretch by your body weight. Stick your tailbone up, you can feel that inner thigh. Breathing nice and 
and slowly. Then we come up, we place our hands on the floor, we just pull, come forwards again. So we're just folding forwards. The same thing again, we're going to go heel toe and come down a little bit more so you can feel that stretch through the back of the legs. Heel toe in again. So it's just a slow process. All the time you're using body weight as well as gravity to stretch, but also it's strength as well, because if you take your hand weight off. Heel toe again. Heel toe again and hold. So see if you can if you need to bend your knee a little bit, do so. If not, just keep your legs nice and straight. Now bend your knees, take your hands around the back, just allow the body weight just to come down and rest on your thighs. Place your hands on your knees, tuck your tailbone under, lifting it up, 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 and away, and shake it out. Still the other side to do it away. So again, we're gonna come out fairly wide, turn the one leg again. So make sure you're hinging from the hip, you're sliding your hand down your leg. Once you're there, you lift it up. You then want to use gravity and strength you can hold like so. So you open up your chest, you can hold this and you can have a slight bend in your leg, that is fine. But we're all doing this at different levels. If you're very flexible, this is the advice to go to because it's very easy for a flexible person to go really low. What we don't, we don't want the, we want the body to be at parallel to the floor. Yeah. Any time you can come back onto there. That's it. And then we're going to turn the foot, take the other leg out a little further, and then we're going to come down. So this is in a lateral pose. Stick the tailbone up in the air. If you feel you need to support yourself, support yourself. If not, place your hands behind your back. That's it, and push down. Again, keep your body parallel with the floor. Try not to come forwards. We need to just keep that pose. So we're in the right position with our hips. Stick your tailbone up. straighten both legs up again and we heel toe in one see if you can drop down a bit more it's the last time we're doing this two around the back just rest down so all the time you can feel that pulling through your butt hands on your knees up we come shake it out so already you're starting to feel like there's a lot of pulling around your butt area yeah around here these are areas we don't often get stretched much as well so by doing them this way we're going to get really improve that mobility yeah, so if you slip, you have that ability to slip further to allow yourself to compensate. What well, tends to happen when you slip, either the hip goes when you're a lot older or you, you jar your back. But if you're quite flexible, you're strong, you can do it, you can get yourself back. So now we're going to go a little bit wider than we, we were before. And we're going to now fold forwards. And you should be able to get your hands on the floor. So we're just going to start with our hands on the floor. Stick your tailbone up in the air. Pull your belly button in. Any time you need to come back to this position, this is where I want you to come back to. Then we're going to turn the palms of the hand and we're going to put our fingers through our legs and our hands, obviously, and our arms. The fingers facing towards the back of your room.
then we're going to place our hands on our ankles. We're going to stick our tailbone up in the air. And again, if you need to bend your knees a little bit because it's feel, feeling too uncomfortable on your knees, do so. That's fine. If you can do it with straight legs, fantastic. Now I want you to take your opposite shoulder towards the other leg without changing or shifting the weight. Um, you know, like shifting the weight of your body or your like, like going into a lateral, that's what I'm trying to say. So you, at the moment you're facing straight, then just rotate just a little bit so you can just feel that shoulder heading towards the floor while you're supported by the other side. And do the same on the other side, so push the front of that shoulder forwards and try and feel like you're heading towards the opposite leg. Again, if you need to have bent legs, that's fine. If you need to come out of it and go to your, your safe place, that can be your safe place with your hands, that's fine as well. Come back to the center. So now we're gonna take the hands behind the back. Again, if that's too much, go to your safe bit. If you need to bend your knees, do so as well. And come over. on the floor and just sort of turn a little bit come onto your knees that's it and on your hands and knees because you need to do it really really delicately isn't it it's like what was that arching your back and sticking your tailbone up doing it again fantastic so let's come on to our seat bones shake everything out I'm really lucky I have a very wide mat, so that really helps. It means that even in this position, I've got most of my body on it. So we need to start the legs out nice and wide here. And what we're going to do is, obviously this is the position we're in, I want you to rotate to here. Now all I want you to do then is to hinge from your hip, keeping your spine nice and straight. But try and keep this butt down on the floor if you can. You notice you got a bit hot doing that then, because I certainly did. Just holding it. Let me come up. Same thing. So if you do that sort of movement, we go uh, like that, then come forwards. That helps. So I can feel more on this side than I can on the other. So the first movement we're going to do, the first stretch we're going to do that is actually timed is this one here. So you bring your hips in as close as you can. With your hands on your ankles, you bring them forwards. You can place your hands on your toes. We allow gravity just to allow your legs to come out to the side. We lift up through our chest. We then come forwards. And as we come forwards, we just use our arms to try and bring ourselves forward a little bit more. Try not to feel it through your back. If you're doing, because you might be bowing your back, just hinge forwards. So I want you to hold this position now for two minutes. And while you're holding the position, I want you to think about your breath. You're gonna inhale. As you exhale, you're just gonna push that exhale down towards those legs and allow them to open up a little bit more. So that's how we're working it. Inhale. And exhale. Anytime you feel it easing, see if you can go a little bit further. Yes, that's what we have to do. Inhale. Exhale, let go. Minute left to go. Just 
use that breath, breathe in. My dog sees ghosts. She gets a bit scared with this music and stuff, don't you? You good girl. There's nothing there. So we've got 30 seconds left, still keep breathing in. And out. Fabulous. Just 10 more seconds. This gives you that time, that mental time, just to release and let go. It allows your brain to tell your body to release through here as well. So you've had that focus. Come up out of it. Yeah. By giving you a focus as well, it allows your mind not to wander. So the next one, which is frog pose, which we love, hate, hate, love. I have actually got secretly got a softer mat underneath. So we're coming into this pose here where your feet face towards your shins. You take your knees out as wide as you can. You come down and then you try and push your butt back like so. As soon as you can feel it working. So it's not only is this good for inner thighs, it's also a hip opener as well. So I want just to hold that position now for two minutes. Yeah. That's because I cannot see the stopwatch. So I'm just gonna sit here while you're doing it. So I know it's a very uncomfortable pose, but you need to take that away and take it out of the um, equation. So I want you to focus on trying to let go of the, the feeling of um, being uncomfortable. So with your breath again, I want you to just try and imagine that all around there is really soft and fluid. So you're just breathing in and breathing out and focusing on soft and fluid. And as you feel the release happening, I want you to just to push yourselves back in a little bit further back. So you're going back into the pose, pushing your butt back. Your feet need to be coming forwards like so. So you're breathing in. Close your eyes if you need to. If you need to come out, that's fine. And you can go back into it whenever you want. Breathing in. And breathing out. And just imagine that area is very fluid. But there is movement, you've just got to allow that movement to happen around there. Just breathing slowly. And keep focus. And then you'll be able to go deeper into the pose. Nice and slow. fight it if you need to come out a little bit do so or if you can go a little bit deeper try that and just focus on your breath and imagining that area being fluid that's what gives your brain the time to let go of that tension that's there by holding a position range of movement position long enough, it allows you to become more flexible. And slowly come out of it, because there's no other way to come out of it apart from slowly. When you've eventually got yourself out of it, just shake your legs like so. Unfortunately, you feel like I've just done frog pose, but you are sort of going to do it again. So you're going to put one leg out to the side, as long as you can see me with the dog there, and the other leg back like so. So you've got one as if you've got both legs coming out that way, and the other one is almost like the frog pose position that you are in before. You're going to shift your weight forwards like so, and then you're going to try and turn to face this way by coming and having that so you can feel it here. If not, you can put one hand behind your back, come forwards, and we're just going to hold this now for about a minute. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the ripple effect. While you're holding this position and it feels very awkward and you're going in your head, this feels really awkward. You need to start scanning your body. If you've got too much tension through your bottom, if you've got too much tension through your, your toes, your leg, and through your 
body. Try and let go. And as you start letting go, one thing, another thing lets go as well. So we've got that slight rotation. So we're all trying to face this way, come down. It is an awkward one to be in for a lot of people, me included, but it is good. That's it. As you let go, you can feel the body relaxing. So you can get deeper into the stretch. If you don't relax and let and, and allow things to release, you can't really properly get into this stretch. But as you do that and you just start focusing on relax, even if you go in your head, I'm breathing in, you're going relax, right, what's tension? Have I got tension in my toes? Or am I, am I gritting my teeth? Yeah, anything like that. And then slowly bring it out. Oh, and the dog shook down then. Oh, shake it out. Well done. So that leg goes there. The other one goes here. So it's not her. The her. The stretch would be here, and the leg would be there. That's completely different. What we're doing is we're taking the leg out to the side, and then we've got the other. Um, this knee is out. Sit at right angles, at toe towards your shin, on this side, and then we rotate. And we come, we try and come forwards. And if you can't, you do like I do, and you have one hand behind your back. As soon as you start coming down, and you get to a point where you can feel something stretching, stop there. That's it. Just stop there. Breathing in and out. Think about the ripple effect. Where is the tension? Where is the tension? What's holding you back from this, this awkward position? For me, it's here. Can tell right as I let go. Allow your body just to feel light and again come forwards and rotate. feel very awkward positions but as you relax into them it doesn't feel quite so bad. Brilliant, come on up. Take them out and shake them. So we're going to take the other leg over this this way, and this time we're going to bend the leg in. So from here now we want to come straight, not down that way like I was looking there. We want to come straight forwards. So you've got a little bit of hip coming as well. If your leg isn't very good, there's nothing wrong with you coming this way because obviously we're doing a bit of hip work as well. So lift up nice and tall, inhale, exhale, let's hold, relax through your shoulders. Good girl. Further forward you can go, make sure both seat bones are staying on the floor, you're not lifting up like so. And again, if there's too much to come forwards, just lift the body up and come forwards. So obviously this side I can do a lot better because the, this is the knee that's playing up at the moment for me. So don't worry, you know, like still try and get into it if you've got a bad knee like I did. But you, what you do is one, you either don't hold it as long or two, you make sure that you're in a position that feels a little bit more comfortable for that area if it's feeling a bit inflamed or if it's not feeling at its best. But it doesn't hurt to get into the position if you can get into it safely. Because obviously, you know, if there's something going on there, you don't want it to become tight. So that's when people get with things like frozen shoulders because they don't move things or with knees. You have to keep mobilising it, but within a, within a section that's 
not going to cause you extreme pain or anything like that. So I was uncomfortable, but I wasn't in extreme pain. And I know, having had this before, that you just go through it, work through it nice and slowly. You know, oh, that, that took a bit of time away from you holding the position, didn't it? Bring it down, excellent, shake it. Right, so now we're gonna take ourselves down. We're gonna go into happy baby pose. So happy baby pose is this position here, where you bring your knees either side of your waist or try and get your knees under your armpits. Your head stays on the ground. Now, I'm fully aware that some people cannot get into this pose and find it quite awkward. One, they might have short arms or long legs. So it doesn't hurt if you want to put your hands and just pull this this way, yeah? So you can do it almost by clasping your fingers and pulling your legs towards, because you're getting that same feeling as we are up here, where I now want you to push your tailbone down. So push your tailbone down towards the floor, like so. That's it, now we're gonna hold this pose for a little while. And I want you to try and relax into it. Whether you're holding it like this, or like this, so you're pushing your knees towards your armpits. Breathing slowly, now we have got some building work going on next door, so I apologize if it's interfering with the noise. to side like a little happy baby does you know when you're trying to do their nappies and they just won't they won't sit still they think it's funny or they're upset that's the worst that's it then bring the legs down drop them gently down onto the floor and just rock from side to side. Then I want you to straighten your legs. Oh, they feel like they've done a bit of a workout, don't they? Hands above your head, inhale. Exhale and reach. Then bring yourself down to your side. allow this moment to relax through your body, through your legs. So what I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine you're just floating on top of water. You know when you're in a lilo, or on a lilo, floating on the water, and you just feel totally relaxed, and the sun is on your face, or even if you don't like water, you're floating, you're on top of a lilo on the grass, whatever. I want you just to feel that feeling of comfort that you're lying on that lilo there. And it's that how you can really relax on that lilo, isn't it? It moves in the water. And it moves if you've got it on the ground and you're lying on it. It just sort of cushions your body and allows you to feel really relaxed. So I want you to put on your inner smile. And just feel that sun warming your face and your chest and your legs, and your hands, your arms. Do some nice deep breaths in and out. Just thank your body for the work it's put you through this week, or you've put it through this week. And just slowly wiggle your feet and your fingers. It and just bring them in, your knees in, and just roll it right one way, and the other way. If your feet 
feet to the floor. And then again, just rock from side to side. When you're ready, just roll onto your right hand side and bring yourself back up. Well done, everybody. Cross your legs. Fantastic. And good inner thigh. And you should feel nice and calm now, nice and centered, ready to take on the weekend ahead for those of you that are doing it today and for those of you that are catching up for whatever day ahead that you have. Enjoy it. Anyway, well done, everybody. Stay safe. And I will see some of you soon. Let me just switch you off on the recorder.